All right, guys, welcome back. This is Eric and Chad here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with a couple of 10 gauge shotguns. <laughs> Sometimes you just wanna partake in a little bit of gratuitous ultraviolence. And today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through a variety of different 10 gauge loads for you, have a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Some of them are common, some of them are uncommon, but all of them are fun and are powerful. Fun and powerful. So <laughs> we're gonna start out uh, by busting a couple of watermelons with uh, some slugs. We got some Federal 10 gauge. These are three and a half inch, one and three quarter ounce slugs. They're moving 1,280 feet per second. Yep. You know, a lot of people say that uh, 12 gauge, three and a half inch Magnum can do everything a 10 gauge does, but it's not a 10 gauge. It's not a 10 gauge. Pretty much the way you know if a 10 gauge load is good or not, <laughs> if, if it, it says 10, 10 on, on it, <laughs> you're pretty much good. All right, let's slug Wait, it up. On three, then go, or? I don't know. Three, three then go. All How right. about that? So we're going to bust two, one, two at a time in tandem. Uh, we're running a pair of partner SB2s. These are old H&Rs. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I don't think they make this gun anymore, but they these, don't. these things are neat. Three, then go. Three, then go. All right. Say the word. Three, two, one. Make it watermelon rain. Watermelon rain. All right. Well, I can think of some other things that'll rain. All right. Let's do it. That was cool. All right. Next on the chopping block, we've got Federal 10 gauge, three and a half inch buckshot. This is an 18 pellet double off moving at 1100 feet per second. It says max on it. That's got to mean something. Maximum damage. <laughs> Say the uh, word. All right, three, two, one. Hey, that's no fair. Mine left standing there. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, well then. All right, we're gonna come up with some other fun things to do. How about a cut shell? Ooh. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna go further down the rabbit hole with a cut shell. Uh, this is a Winchester Super X bird load. Uh, it's a one and one five eighths ounce load moving 1,350 feet per second. And what we've done is we've twisted it with a knife and cut the bottom off and this whole top of the shell becomes a slug. Every cut shell we fire is dedicated to Barry. Good old so, Barry, yep. all right. Here we go. All right. This is going to be in a word, gratuitous. Say the word. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, and then upon ejection, you can see just the base comes out because it's a cut shell. That's a good way to turn a wicked bird load into an even more wicked slug. <laughs> I can think of some other cool stuff. Let's do it. I got juju on my glasses. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how about a federal turkey load, two ounce, number six shot, copper plated, high velocity, 1,300 feet per second, not one, but two. So let's revisit the 10 gauge akimbo. <sighs> All right, let's see if we can hit both of these at the same time. <laughs> well, I got one. The other one got scared. <laughs> All right, this time, why don't we do a row of five watermelons with the same slug that we shot earlier that made such a decimating impact on the single watermelon. And we just have to up the amount of watermelon that it can go through. So here we go. Let's do it. Five watermelons, one and one three quarter ounce, or one and three quarter ounce slug. Ten gauge. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it never gets old no matter how many times I do it. Glorious. We're going to set up the same shot, but this time I think maybe some sodas are in order. Let's do it. How about a row of high fructose corn syrup with a cut shell? Same cut shell we ran earlier. Oh man, I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I wanna know. Here we go. Yes! Oh, they stood there bravely, but now their watch has ended. Let's move on to some other stuff. Guys, it's kind of hard to get away from the slugs. So we're gonna do one more thing. I know this is silly, but we got a bunch of Pop-Tarts right there and a little baffle system. Why not? Let's see how many Pop-Tarts a slug will shoot through. Well, I think we know the answer to the question, but getting there is half the fun. Most of the fun, actually, it's all the fun in this case. 
if you're a Pop-Tart, you're not having a good time right now. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to shoot through them. Look at that. It skimmed across the top. Or did it? <laughs> it did. It skimmed right across the top. I'd have to aim a little bit lower. And like the fifth Pop-Tart caught a piece of the wadding. <laughs> All right, we're going to find something else to do. That was cool, but we're going to move on to something else. All right, here's something you've probably never seen before at all. All right, Ooh. this is a 12 gram CO2 from Crossman, just stuffed down into a 10 gauge. It actually fits the bore on a 10 perfectly, quite well, quite well. So we're going to run a pair of these. We basically just took a bird load, one of the one and five eighth ounce uh, Winchester Super X, cut it, uh, took the shot out, cut the cup down and stuffed a 12 gram CO2 in the end of it. Had to put a little electrical tape around there just to kind of seal it, but ooh, it gets a nice seal though. Yep, let's All try right. it. We're gonna hit the steel here, see if we get a nice little pop down range on the steel. And then we're gonna uh, show you another rare load that you probably don't see every day. All right. All right. You wanna count down this time? I will. Uh, three and go. Three and go. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I All love right. it. Chad's got one more thing he's going to show you, and then we're going to wrap this up. Let's do it. All right, so for the grand finale, we put the singles in the truck. We've got a semi-automatic Ithaca Mag-10 shotgun. This thing is just all kinds of awesome. Um, I feel kind of like Van Pelt from Jumanji. I just need a pith helmet, and I think I'd be doing good. But we're going to hunt some watermelons with this thing. So Eric mentions a rare round, okay? so. <laughs> we were going to load this thing up and realize, oops, it's 12 gauge. So he grabbed 12 gauge, number four buck, 54 pellet shells, okay? What he thought was 10 gauge, but it was 12. So we're gonna run some 18 pellet buck like we ran earlier and uh, destroy these watermelons. Enough talking, let's get to shooting. <laughs> I hope you guys had as much fun watching this video as we had making it. We're going to be doing a lot more with the 10 gauges in the future, but for now, take care and enjoy yourselves. See you guys.